I'm Steve Hill of DETCRC. I'm the leader of Project 3.3, which examines the geochemistry of the deep cover. As part of the DETCRC's annual conference, I helped lead a field trip to the Hillside Copper Gold Deposit. The Hillside Copper Gold Deposit was discovered by Rex Minerals and is an exciting new discovery through the deep cover. The idea of the field trip was to show the stakeholders within the CRC and CRC participants some of the new research that we've been doing through our students and our researchers. To start with, we looked at the detail of the mineral system and Rex Minerals very generously made available core samples that we could show the field trip participants. At the first site, when we looked at the core samples that Rex Minerals have obtained in the area, our researchers were able to show some of the mineral expressions and geochemical expressions of the mineral system. The next part of the field trip looked at some of the exciting new results that we've recently achieved from looking at the surface geochemical expression of this mineral system. This included some student work, in particular looking at the geochemistry of calcrete samples, vegetation and soils. At the second site, we emphasised the surface geochemical expression of the mineral system. We were able to showcase some of our recent exciting breakthroughs in using calcretes in deep cover settings to express the mineral system. We've been able to show how to more effectively target the ideal calcrete sampling media in deep exploration settings. The next part of the trip we walked down to coastal exposure that showed a weathered expression of the mineral system and how that then translates into the transported cover. At the third site, when we looked at the coastal cliff sections, they showed weathered exposures of the mineral system. And from that, we could see distinct interfaces that host elevated levels of copper, gold, rare earth elements that can be used to vector towards mineral systems. Some of these interfaces are in the transported sediments, others are in the weathering profiles. At the final site, we looked at a cliff exposure that was in a frontier setting. We don't know whether there's mineralisation in that area. We looked at some of the challenges that face explorers in that sort of environment. We looked at different interfaces within that profile that can potentially host geochemical expressions of the mineral system in the area. We also demonstrated at that site some of the frontiers and challenges in providing real-time exploration geochemical data. James Cleverly from CSIRO gave an in-field demonstration of some of the portable X-ray fluorescence technology and how that can be used in these exploration programs. The DETCRC now plans to continue our detailed research in this area and please stay tuned for more exciting developments from Hillside and the York Peninsula area. Mm -hmm.